Hey there, welcome back to Jovo Wednesday on Devil Lab. This time we're going to save user specific data to DynamoDB for Alexa skills and Google Actions hosted on AWS Lambda. In a previous episode, we talked about the Jovo um, user data object which uses database integration that um, help you easily store user-specific data in a database. For example, fresh new Java projects use the FileDB, which is the um, just a file-based system that saves data into a JSON file um, for easy debugging. And we looked at this in the previous episode of Java Wednesday uh, on Dabble Lab. And so this is how you can save uh, user specific data there. And in the last episode last week, um, we already deployed our Jovo voice app um, with the Google action on AWS Lambda by using an API gateway. So the problem on Lambda is though that it doesn't work with our file based um, database. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to store some data in the database and then um, deploy it to AWS Lambda uh, with DynamoDB. Uh, so let's try that out. As, as we talked about this last time, um, it's just a very simple Google action that we have hosted on Lambda right now. And so, okay, Google, talk to my test app. Okay, let's get the test version of my test app. Hi, what's your name? John. Hey, John, nice to meet you. And so we're now saving the name a user has set um, just to uh, just to show how the database integration works. So if you take a look back at the user object, we can save data with this dot um, dollar user dot dollar data and then a key. And so if we go back to to our code, um, we have this um, my name is intent here with this dot inputs dot name dot value. And so what we can do is we can just save this to the database just to this dot dollar user dot dollar data dot name for example is this and then we can reference this here so and that's it and so and if i i run um, the jovo local development server with jovo run and open the debugger open the launch here and then add a name like Jan, for example, you can find here that at first the database is empty. And then after that, my name Jan is, is stored. And you can also find this if you take a look at the DB folder that was just created in db.json. You can find the Jovo debugger user here and uh, with some user data, the name Jan. Okay, and so this is how you can store user-specific data. However, um, as mentioned before, these files don't work on AWS Lambda. So what we need is to um, use DynamoDB. Uh, and we have a tutorial on this, um, on how to install it. So to install DynamoDB, um, install this package here. And then let's go back into the code where we typically have to file DB. We can also add the DynamoDB. You can install it like this and then also install the new DynamoDB instance. And then that's, that's it um, from the app.js side. What we also need to define is a table name, uh, which you can find here. And so we can add this here. And so for now, we'll just go into the config.js file and add it here and maybe comment that out for now and add a table name like hello world table. Okay, and so this is, if it works, this will save the name of a user um, into a DynamoDB table called hello world table. And so let's upload this to AWS Lambda first run npm run bundle again to create a new zip file. I'll go back to Lambda and upload it and save it. 
So while this is saving, uh, let's take a look at the current role. So what we can see here, resources that the functions role has access to appear here. And so right now, this role that we use, the basic execution role that I talked about um, last episode, um, this doesn't have access to DynamoDB. And uh, so it only has access to DynamoDB um, through a trigger here, but we need to write into that DynamoDB. And so this is why uh, we need to update our current role and add a DynamoDB policy. And so let's go to the Lambda basic execution role for now and see what, um, what we have here. And so right now we only have this policy. What you can see just has the CloudWatch logs. And so what we can do here is we can attach a new policy. And so let's search for DynamoDB. So we have DynamoDB full access here, for example. And um, so this would give my role complete access, which for some people maybe is too much. Um, on, uh, on this written tutorial here, there's also explained how to, um, how to create a new role with just the right permissions um, to just create a table, put item and get item. And so um, we can also use this here, for example. Or if you if this is taking too long for you, you can you can use the DynamoDB full access right now. Okay, so let's let's use this for now um, to make it easier. And so this is now attached. And so if we now uh, if we now refresh this page. This now has the DynamoDB as well here. Okay, and so this, this should work. If I now create a new test event and trigger it with an Alexa request, it works. And so let's see, let's go to services, go to DynamoDB, Go to the table here, new hello world table. And here's the test user. And so this just created a new account. And so if, uh, if I run the Google action again, let's see if it works. Okay, Google, talk to my test app. All right, here's the test version of my test app. Hello world, what's your name? John. Hey, John, nice to meet you. Okay, so if it worked correctly, yes, it did. I, if I refresh and click here and go to user data, it shows that now the name John was saved to the database. Okay, and so this is how you can save user specific data to DynamoDB um, uh, by using the Jovo Framework, AWS Lambda, and API Gateway for your Google Actions. What I didn't mention in this video is a few other things that you can do. And so, for example, uh, what's really helpful for stuff like this, if you want to st still use the file-based system for local development, but then for AWS Lambda, you want to use a table and then you want to use different tables for different um, environments like staging and production. And for example, uh, you can use uh, the Jovo staging feature. And I will talk about this in a, in a later step on how to use different environments for different database tables and so on. And until then, see you next time uh, for Jova Wednesday on Dabble Lab. Bye!